Welcome back. Today we're talking about exercise and physical activity. Because of who I am, I love this. This is one of my favorites because I, I am just forever going to be an exerciser. I have been since the time I was 14 and I started competing in triathlons and I continue it today. Now a little more scientifically based and health based in my exercise. Before it was just put your head down and how long and how hard and how far can you go, but no more of that. Now it's a little bit more scientific and purposeful, right? But here's the other thing. In designing a video program to help you with your exercise routine is actually very challenging. And this is where I need to work with you all more one-on-one -on -one because we all start from different places. We all start from a different background and a different baseline. And if you're a beginner to exercise versus if you're a former marathon runner, your approach is gonna be very different. So today, I'm gonna to talk about the general concepts of exercise, the general concepts of how exercise fits into our life. Then I'm gonna send you a series of different videos that go over a simple training routine. Maybe perfect for some of you, maybe a little more challenging for some of you, maybe a little too easy for some of you. So I want you to adapt it for you to fit into your life, to fit into your level of fitness. But the concepts, the general concepts are gonna be the same no matter what, no matter what level you're at right now, all right? And the key is exercise to promote health, to promote strength, and to promote enjoyment. Those are the key pillars, health, strength, and enjoyment. So let's talk about this. Now notice I call this physical activity and exercise right? Physical activity and exercise. They're not one and the same. Physical activity is what we do during our day, that we don't sit for hours at a time. We get up and we walk around. We take the stairs instead of the elevator. We purposely park as far away as we can from our spot that we have to get to so that we can walk in. We, we make a point of getting out and walking for 15 minutes every day. Remember, I've, I purposely have not been talking about exercise very much up to this point, but I wanted you to get out and walk or be active 15 minutes every day to make it part of your routine. That's physical activity. Now we're gonna talk about exercise on top of that. All right, so physical activity, being physically active is just who we are. That's who we are as healthy people, healthy in mind, healthy in body, promoting our health for physically active. So physical activity and exercise. And there are four main types of exercise that I wanna talk about. First is cardio, moderate cardio. You may hear it called zone two. You may hear it called maffetone. Um, but the key here is it's about in the 60 to 70% maximum heart rate range. Okay, so let's take a second to talk about maximum heart rate. You can use the standard formula. So standard formula here is 220 minus your age, okay? Very basic formula. And then take 60 to 70% of that, and that's where you're gonna get your heart rate. So if you're training with a heart rate monitor, that's how you do it. Or if you really wanna know, you go get the formal cardiometabolic testing, and I'll send a link when I had that done too. It's actually a lot of fun. You wear the whole mask, you're on the treadmill, it's measuring your oxygen exchange. I loved it. Um, it's a little bit of torture, but it's fun torture but then you know your exact heart rate. So if you like heart rate training, zone two, moderate cardio, 60 to 70%. But the other thing is it, it feels moderate. You can still carry on a bit of a conversation while you're doing it. It's something you can maintain for an hour or more. Um, and it's actually gotten a bad rap lately, right? People are saying cardio is for suckers. People are saying all we need to do is high intensity and weightlifting. Cardio still has a role, okay? Still has a role for cardiac fitness for helping with fat burning, for feeling good about ourselves and mentally exercising, right? Getting our brain clear as we're out there doing a steady, consistent type of activity. Cardio still has a role. Then resistance training. This is a big one that's getting a lot of attention lately and for good reason. Resistance training could be working with bands, could be working with body weight exercises, could be lifting heavy weights. The key is not to hypertrophy. You know, the, our goal, I should say, is not to hypertrophy and get big muscles. Our goal is to maintain or build a little bit of lean body mass and strength so that as we age, we remain strong, right? There's this concept, sarcopenia, that we all tend to lose muscle mass as we age. Well, we wanna prevent that. One big way we prevent that is with resistance training. 
and a lot of these modules that I'm going to send you show uh, examples of resistance training that are easy to do, don't require a lot of equipment, and you can adjust it for your level. Very important for maintaining health, but also our resting metabolic rate. So how many calories, how much energy we burn at rest is dependent on our muscle mass, which we can maintain or build a little bit with resistance training. And that's gonna help us with our weight, that's gonna help us with our metabolic health, okay? So resistance training, very important. And then high intensity interval training. This is where we get into the 85% or greater of our maximum predicted heart rate for short periods of time. And there's gonna be a video on this as well. Whether it's 30 seconds, whether it's a minute, whether it's two minutes, you get your heart rate up and you bring it down and recover. You get it up again, you bring it down and recover. This targets a completely different way of, of your body exercising and with insulin sensitivity, glucose utilization, helping the mitochondria, the, the powerhouse cells in our muscles, helping improve the function and health of mitochondria. Um, so all, all three of these things hit different areas of health. And that's why I think it's important to incorporate all of them. And then the next one is play. Exercise doesn't have to be work. It doesn't have to be going to the gym. It doesn't have to be going out and going for a run. It can be play. Whether that means biking with your kids, playing basketball with your friends, um, or finding other ways to incorporate play. Uh, you know, I love mountain biking for me is play. You're, I'm out in nature. I'm with a group of friends. It's so much fun. To me, that is play. Uh, but I also love biking with my kids. And um, I don't play basketball anymore, but lots of people do. So the key is finding a way to make it fun. And here's the thing. In general, a perfect exercise program would include one day of cardio, one day of resistance training, one day of high intensity interval training, and one day of play. And they don't always have to be separate, right? You can, if you have one day where you have more time to exercise, you can do your cardio for 45 minutes, say, and then do your resistance training for half an hour, and you've got two of them done. And then rest a day, and then do your high intensity interval training. Rest a day, and then have a day where you're playing. And you've hit all your markers. Now, if you wanna do more, do more, absolutely. But that's what I think is the minimum for a healthy exercise routine. And again, the resistance training doesn't have to be two hours in the gym. It could be 30 minutes of doing heavy weights with rest in between, cycling among the different um, muscle groups. High intensity interval training, again, it could be 20 minutes on a treadmill, on an exercise bike, on elliptical. If you're going hard, you're getting the results. And then cardio, this one does tend to need to be a little bit longer. I would say a minimum of 30 minutes. Um, trying to get up towards 45 minutes or an hour would be even better. This one takes the longest, but the others can be much more efficient. So you've heard me talk a lot about Orange Theory, but I love that for my high intensity interval training or there's Barry's boot camp, there are all sorts of different boot camps, or watch our video, learn how to do it on your own. Uh, resistance training, the one caution there is I do usually recommend you work with a trainer to start because form is so important. Goal number one is prevent injuries, all right? We have to, have to, have to be smart about the way we train to prevent injuries because if you're injured, you can't do any of these, you can't promote your health. So work with a trainer. And then of course, play and have fun, all right? So here's the general structure. Be physically active at baseline. That's who you are, you're a physically active person and incorporate exercise. All right, so look for the videos to come that are gonna show you some resistance training exercises, some high intensity interval training tips. All right, to work that in, to learn about that. Incorporate this into your life, make it a regular schedule. I love it, not everybody does, but the important thing is it's so key for your health. So even if you don't love it, find ways to make it fun. All right, get out there, be active, had a great, happy, and healthy day. We'll see you next time.